As many of you know, but probably some of you don't, I've never had a job in video production. I'm actually a cabinet installer by trade. Now that doesn't really have anything to do with this video, except for the fact that before I ever can put cabinets on the wall, I have to have sheetrock. And before they ever have sheetrock, they have to have framing. And before you have the framing, you have to have the foundation. And then think about the vast quantity of loads that we have in this country. And it's interesting to me that when people talk about building YouTube, they seem to only talk about it in terms of the traffic to the channel and not the channel itself. And anyone who starts gaining any kind of an audience starts getting comments that say, hey, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, please come over and subscribe to me. Really, they're not trying to grow their YouTube channel, they're just trying to grow their audience. But trying to grow your YouTube channel and trying to grow your YouTube audience are actually two separate things. I see people trying to grow their audience, only having like one or two videos on the channel, maybe even a dozen or a half dozen videos on the channel. I actually made 57 videos before I had one take off and get a lot of views. I was actually building my channel, not just trying to build my audience. And then we have case studies like say MKBHD, one of the most popular YouTubes with a diamond play button. He did a hundred videos before he got 78 subscribers. In fact, if you look at my YouTube feed, you'll realize that most of my best videos, my most helpful videos about what settings I use and all of those type of things were made before I had a video that took off. And so when I finally had a video that got my content in front of an audience, I had a backlog of dozens of videos for them to go back and watch and see that this isn't just a one-off type of a guy, but this is someone that's worth sticking around for. I've had so many people in the comment sections to my video say, dude, I'm binge watching your content. If you binge watch my content, Comment down below and let me know. I was just listening to a Roboto Blake podcast. Roboto Blake was talking to a guy who for five years was walking on YouTube, putting out three to five videos a week. And the guy expanded his audience to 22,000 subscribers. But then he had one video that popped off and got millions of views and people found it. They loved his content and they binge watched his content, video after video after video, and said, this is someone worth subscribing to. So how do you build YouTube? Well, first of all, you wanna start working on your content, of course, but not just the video making aspect of working on your content, but the tags, you wanna work on the thumbnails, the titles, figure out your style. Those are, these are all the things that you wanna do before you get a big audience because having the time to create before you have the pressure to create is actually very valuable. Another way that helps build your channel is actually to build the channel, like put what type of playlist you want people to see. Making something like a channel trailer or a piece of content that you think really encapsulizes what you want to do. Basically putting your best foot forward, making your channel so good that it's hard for people to not subscribe to you. That should be your goal. And now this is sort of a public service announcement, but YouTube reserves the right to delete your channel if you try to do sub for sub. So stay away from that. And one last thing, if you're thinking that the best way to grow your audience is to just try and persuade some larger YouTube to give you a shout out, that's not gonna work very well. You should be creating the content that you want. Sarah Dietschy getting the Casey Neistat shout out and going from 4,000 subscribers to 40,000 subscribers in one day was not because Casey Neistat shouted her out. For one, Casey Neistat wouldn't have shouted her out if she didn't have good content before he ever saw her. And two, if people would have gone to her channel and said, oh, her content stinks, 
no one would have subscribed to them. And likewise, Cody Wano, when he got the shout out from Peter McKinnon, if people would have gone to his channel and said, wow, his content stinks, they wouldn't have subscribed to him. That is something that you gotta keep in mind. Content is everything. Creating good content, building your YouTube channel, and then letting your audience find you. Because if you constantly are building your YouTube channel, eventually you're gonna build your audience. So how'd you like the one take? Well, that's pretty much all I have for today. If you found this video helpful, well, that's good enough for me. We'll catch you in the next one.